Bradshaw takes a beauty. That's it. I'm going to be in this week. Thank you. Time back on. Welcome back to Gus and Gordy, episode, uh, not sure, Angus, but it is episode one in a studio. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how you define studio, but it, this is definitely a Sorry. step up from the this Casey Fields. Oh, yeah, but I know, but were we in a studio previously? Yeah, because we Benny, had the stuff on the walls. Benny Gibson did put a lot of stuff on the walls and kept yeah. it soundproof. But um, no, it's good to be here. This is uh, incredible. If you're listening over um, audio, you won't see the yeah. sort of setup we've got. Well, I hope they'll hear the sound, though. The sound will be the incredible. The sound will be pure. But yeah, it's good to be here. And we've got a big guest. We got a, This is a huge week for our podcast. Yeah. Want to introduce our guest? Yeah, well, we've got we'll Slider see. number 100, which is how many behind you? Uh, it's 19. That's weird that you're 19 behind Angus in terms of the pecking bit. order. But we've got David Neitz. Welcome, David. Yeah, Neitz. thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, a little bit weird. Um, yeah. I expected Neil to give me the tap on the shoulder a little bit earlier than sure. that. But um, um, he said that he's saving me up for number 100. But, Who were uh, you behind? Did, was Jeff, Jeff Farmer before Jeff you? Farmer was in front of me. Yeah. That, that, that hurt a little yeah, bit, that hurt. I say. <laughs> yeah, you know, all this mateship, all the stuff that we went through. Yeah. Like, the wizard, he gave us the flick, went to Fremantle, he gets him yeah, for me. I, yeah. I was questioning our friendship for a little while there, but, um, yeah. but no, I finally got, got the gong last year, which was great. So how many of uh, Under the Rev, how many of how many have slid that were coached? Uh, two, yeah, the wizard and myself. Okay. So um, there's a few unhappy boys out there. But yeah. Yeah. A few disgruntled time. sliders, I reckon. Um, probably a bit stiff. How, how are we feeling 100 without getting more than two um, Deep. Uh, past players? On Melbourne v Collingwood. Mm. Like yeah, I, know. I know. Neil's just got his new mates. He's all about the celebrities, you know. Okay. <laughs> He's yeah. changed. He's yeah. changed that There way. has been a couple of names dropped early that they're real celebrities. Like they have. Mick Fanning's a real celebrity. He's genuine. He's yeah. Eric Banner's pretty Yeah, that's you know, reasonable. Yeah, the yeah Saints, he'd have international. But, he's, but they're after us, though, Angus. We've just got to remember that. The yeah. Saints stuff brings him down a tiny bit, doesn't it? The couple fact of he's notches. a hardcore Saints supporter. Yeah, that does. Yeah. I mean, we love St Kilda. Well, we don't, but... No, we don't. <laughs> we love the fact that a big Hollywood superstar loves AFL. Loves the game. Yeah, yeah loves the game. We're into that. Chris Hemsworth, has he done it? Because he's a big... He loves the doggies. That'd be another big one that we could get. I guess we're talking out of school now. We are. Anyway, um, does yours count? As in, well, I've got the beanie that says. Yeah, I know, but uh, do you remember the COVID? I do. The I COVID do remember. Year. Yeah, the COVID we, year. we set it up ourselves. And I was, hosted... it was a giant big yeah. slide, wasn't it? it was COVID, actually... Sorry, things count in COVID, mate. Like, we want a flag in COVID. That no, counts. No, after COVID. Well, we. Sorry, mate, did we not spend six weeks in the hub? Sorry, yeah, during COVID, we wanted well, to You guys had to do something. Like, yeah. we just have to turn up and go down the slide. You yeah, actually yeah, had to yeah. prepare. That's well, I hosted it and didn't get a beanie. Well, did you slide down the slide? But I hosted mate? the show. Did you slide down it? But I did my bit. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, I'm just saying, you get a number when you slide down, okay. not when you host it. You'd been the number two or three host, but anyway. <laughs> What's been going on, Nita? What have you been up to? What have I been up to? Um, I'm outside of uh, what I'm doing now, so I've just got a little beer company that I've been working on for the last few years, which is tied in to the fight against MND. It's what, how we started it initially was a charity yeah. to raise money when Neil started raising funds for Fight MND, so um, Brewmanity. We're building a brewery uh, down the road, actually, in South Melbourne from this wonderful studio that you've got, which is yeah. very impressive, yeah. um, which is going to be, you know, two or three levels, rooftop bar, city views. Oh, wow, well, so we can drink uh, at the brewery? It, that, yeah, okay. you can have a few beers there as well. So, um, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Good way to do it. So, Gorney's copied you. He, he's got East End Lager. Okay, we're going down this um, we, Lager? I thought you were into the wines. Well, well so well, sorry. Well, hey, hey, as, hey I, before I took the show, I didn't realise that Gorney was a competition. Well, as much to say that, I've copped a lot of stick on this show. <laughs> this uh, is outrageous. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, How does it I've make been, you feel? I've been brought here under false pretenses. Yeah, well, wait till you hear what's happened it's here. It's a goddamn travesty. <laughs> well, what do you mean, mate? You've got to walk... It's, I've, I'm over in a wine bar. It's about 10 kilometres. You couldn't walk from it to our bar to your bar. But... Okay. They'll be next to each other on the shelves, well, East End Lager and uh, Brew Manny, and yeah, he's, he's cut your lunch off. Well, I I'm, 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 I'm almost going to do a Sam Newman walk-off. I'm very close. <laughs> well, I tell you what, then you'd be right to do so. If Based my homebrew on, on tap brings down Brew Manly, <laughs> you haven't, you haven't, <laughs> had, you you haven't had the right there. There's more problems than my homebrew, if that's They it. come in a can, don't they? <laughs> no, nah, uh, nah, not anymore. Oh, no, no. Nah, they're just, just on tap. Nah, well, I'm just saying, it's interesting that... Um, we all have a venue, though. Well, we have... No, it's not, I have venues. You two are starting venues. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Venue that's guys. Right. We're venue guys. The rising yeah. tide lifts all boats, so let's not... But I was just interesting that I've copped... Cause I've Where, copped are, you? Where are you? Where are you? In Richmond, Lennox Street. Oh, lovely. Yeah, very nice. Down yeah. the good end, near um, Swan Street, near the... Um, it's all happening down there. So. Still, the doors still haven't opened, so I'll see you when it happens. Got some good updates, though. Really? Yes, yeah, okay. I'll show you later. Yeah. I might even... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. All right, let's structure this. Let's talk... David needs the footballer first. Okay. Then we'll, chat about. How then, we'll we talk, then we'll talk Neil. Okay. Um, and we'll get it. Longer serving captain. How does that make you feel? 
No, not to, I'm, I don't think I'm even on the list at the moment. I, I reckon Jonesy would have been close to you. Uh, Jonesy could be up there. Gary Lyon yeah. would be up there. Robbie Flower, I don't know what he would have he would have done. I have got no Did idea. I've a... got no idea of the list. To be honest, I didn't even know yeah. that I was that. What there well, was mate, a... Don't worry, we you took it off, off Gary. I have no idea who I took it off. Really? To be I'm not sure who I took it off. Then who took I it off you, you, Junior? Didn't you do research for this show, Max? Did Junior take it off you though? How can he he's longer uh, serving? Oh, as in the actual, as in, yeah. as in the actual well, captaincy, yeah. not the yeah. record. Yeah. yeah. So when Lyon needs McDonald. Green, Jones and Grimes, Jones, 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 Jones and Viney. Viney. Yep. Viney. Jones? And Viney, Viney by himself? Gorn. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Gorn Viney? It sounds about right. You have a no, 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 no. Okay. I don't share it. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but you're the longest serving one, 2000, 2008. I am, yeah. yeah. One thing from that. So a lot of... I'm very envious of the Melbourne past player groups. Well, technically, I'm sort of in it. Past and present, present players. Yep. And I will be in it very, very soon. <laughs> it's on. Not too soon. Not... Yeah, well... <laughs> Um, you're strong, you're united. Um, there's obviously been a lot of adversity that's hit this group. Yep. Um, I'll bring up the, the fact that the 2000 granny, we didn't quite get the success that we wanted and we probably could have in that era. Um, but still an amazingly close group and they all call you Skip as well. Are you proud of that little group? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, we, um, we, as you say, we didn't get to the ultimate prize, but we had a Good core group. We had a good few years there where we gave ourselves um, a shot at it. Couldn't quite get it over the line. But, um, but no, we've stuck together really well. It's been um, uh, a good core. And obviously Neil um, is part of that unifying process that just keeps us all, all together. So, yep. um, no, it's a, it's a, it was a really good group. We couldn't quite keep all of our players mm. <laughs> together during the year as well, which didn't help us. But, um, but no, we had a bit of a run of it, but... Not quite, uh, not quite able to take the main price. Well, I mean, two thousand granny. I don't need to bring it up, but it probably it goes in well after what you just said. We can talk about that granny. The prelim was phenomenal. Yep. Greeny kicking five. Um, uh, that's a short list of players. Five five in the prelim. prelim. Um, <laughs> it really did look like. Unfortunately, Essendon were hot, so it looked oh, yeah. like it was potentially Melbourne's time until we got. Oh well, Essendon. They're genuinely. Any memories from that, Granny? I know you've tried to wipe them all. Yeah, none of that. We um, well, I suppose we had the Carlton the Carlton game before that, which was amazing. Again, Green and Bruce were phenomenal in that in that game. We were sort of I don't know twenty odd points down at three quarter time, um, and then the Reverend just sort of said, "Right, um, I'm let there. everyone go. You know, go hard, go for it, take the game on," which we did. And uh, we had two young eighteen year olds, Brad Green and Cameron Bruce, who um, exploded really in that game. Yeah. Um, it was probably the best game of footy that I've played in. Yeah. Uh, I, pers- I personally didn't get a kick. <laughs> okay. I was pretty ordinary. Yeah. Got smothered by Glenn Matton that day. So not, not great personal like Glenn memories, Manton. but okay, yeah. Glenn Matton, yeah, no. It's still... What's he up to these days? I don't know. I don't know. He was uh, lot. doing a lot of social work, I think, for a period of time there, but I, I get, really don't know. You couldn't even get Silvani. You got Manton. Uh, I, think, I think Sauce was done, done at that stage. Okay, okay. But, um, but yeah, anyway... Um, so that was an amazing game, and that flipped us over to the other side of the draw, which Essendon were the hot team of yep. that year, um, and that meant that we didn't have to play them in the prelim final, which yep. is advantageous. We played against North and um, sort of steamrolled through North, and yep. you know and, and Stephen Powell, he kicked four goals from the wing in that prelim final. It was pretty impressive, and we were we were coming in quite hot. We'd won, I don't know, ten or twelve on the trot, um, but unfortunately, we came against Essendon. We just um, um, well, they hadn't. Well, they lost one game for the season. Lost the last year. game of the year, didn't they? It was the last game of the season. Yeah, Terry Wallace brought in mm. the flood against the against, doggies. Against the doggies. Yep. A full flood, and that sort of um, yeah, they didn't. They, they weren't able to get through that. So uh, yeah, but they were just too good, too good of the day. And uh, we thought that we'd have more opportunities, yep. but you know that sort of never really eventuated. We talk about the 2021. People think Caleb Daniels sling tackling me to the ground and then we go kick 15 goals from that moment. I don't think that is the turning point. But, but now that you mentioned it, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Michael Long bump on Troy Simmons. Yeah. Potentially similar. Bit of a turning point early in the game. Yeah, I look, I, I don't know whether it was a, tur- a turning point. I think they were sort of, they were quite dominant really from, yeah. from, from the answer. We had some opportunities in the first quarter um, that we didn't make count. I was one guilty, of, guilty of that. But... Um, as the game sort of went on, it was quite clear that they were they were just on yeah you know, on top on a, in a mm. different sort of level to 
anyone else that year. Yeah. Well, I don't know why Gorney's asked you so much about it. It feels like a bit of a down topic. We, there's a lot of other good you stuff that we've stay here the whole interview. You need to. Well, geez, kick your man while he's down, don't you? I think um, we could have said something about 300 games, 631 goals. How many 300 time. game players we had? We've got two, one or two. And we You've nervous? got Chunk as well, haven't you? We had, yeah, I was about to say, Nervy when he was playing the first six games of. Yeah, look, you know, he got up to 305 mm. and it was, you know, had the voodoo doll out. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, you, made, you made a call to Goody, didn't you? I, I, I just uh, I went left it to the voodoo gods, <laughs> but um, no, look, it would have been uh, it would have been a very worthy guy to uh, to take over that 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 little mantle. But um, but look, it was great to get to three hundred games, yeah. three hundred six games, six good ones, and um, yeah, it was uh, great to be able to just play for that long. I guess. Yep. Is anyone? Sorry, I'm going. I'm dipping into a depressing thing again. Okay. I'm going age. Okay. Is anyone still True. playing AFL right now? And you were still. I don't. Oh, I don't think so. Who am I thinking? Pendlebury, Pendlebury, maybe. Well, sort of that sort of that sort of era, buddy. Yeah. You know, those Eight sort of guys would have been starting out. I suppose. So there was a couple. Because yeah. Jonesy was your last Melbourne. Last player. Melbourne player. Yeah, yeah. So there's a cu- there's a couple. So you, you were able to hold Jonesy off from games played, but and I'm sorry, I'll probably kick a man while he's even further down again. But your second, now second uh, at the club for contested marks in the history of the club behind. Second. Who's first? Behind um, Max Gorn, just sitting wow. over there. So did you get a few on the lead? Did you that's, know that? Uh, that's 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 oh, a little bit disappointing. But <laughs> I mean, look, you know, I used to have an opponent when I played Max. <laughs> <laughs> you just sort of float around by yourself around the back, you know, back blocks, just taking marks. You must have had a bit of just, speed. Did you have just a bit of speed? by yourself, mate? I had a defender. Yeah. There was no chopping the arms was okay back in the day. Okay. okay. You know, it was a very very different scenario. Okay. Because that's the marks. Are, yeah. Well, I can't beat someone to the ball with my speed. So every mark I take is contested. Yeah. Where I dare say you would have been able to get out of the lead a couple of times. A couple of times on the lead, yeah. Yeah, which I don't count. So, I, I mean, I think I'd rather your career, judging by <laughs> what's going on here. Uh, Seven-time Melbourne leading goal kicker. No one could get you. Robbo, Ox, Jeff? No, Robbo. Robbo uh, is always upset with me because yeah, whenever yeah. I didn't play, he'd come up and kick sort of five, six, seven goals. So yeah. he reckons that he would have been yeah. like almost a thousand goal <laughs> player. <laughs> if I hadn't have been there, I was just uh, in his way. And Robbo would have brought that up. He <laughs> has every single time, yeah. every time. Yeah. Yeah. He starts off most functions, Russell Roberts. He still does a lot of functions around the football he club. He starts off most functions with a highlight of his own. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a few to go through, to be fair. <laughs> to you, so. Fair enough, but... I yeah. know, I didn't get that mark of the year, though, unfortunately, for Robbo. Yeah. Great at him. Um, now, we've gone through a lot of accolades. Obviously, All-Australian, International Rewards Couple player. Times. Couple times. Keep Louis yeah. Truscott medal. David needs bar. Is that the best of the accolades? That is, that is the highlight. Do you yeah. get free tins when you go in there, or...? Um, I, I have had a couple of free beers. Okay. And, um, and look, my, my greatest story was the first time I went in. Yeah. Um, Boxing Day test. Oh, that's big. It was big. And I don't usually go, but I had a, a mate of mine who does go. Um, and for whatever reason, we didn't go away that year. So um, I rang my mate and said, look, I'm going to come in, go to the cricket. And unfortunately, the rain just started to come at that time. Um, I arrived and I said, well, where are you, mate? And he said, I'm at the David Neitz bar. <laughs> so, so I thought I'd better steal myself for this. Went into a little bar, grabbed myself a quick beer because I knew something was coming. Was it a big thing when you walked in? Surely everyone, wow, that's David It was, David it, was it was pretty loose. Yeah. The, my, mates, my mate had organised for about 30 people just to chant my name. <laughs> and that chant went from the ne- a neater chant yeah. to a shout the bar chant. Okay, oh. yeah. And that's, you know, I've, my, my mum's Scottish. I've got some heritage in that. I was, you know, concerned about this. Where's this going to end? Yeah. But luckily, the old bloke behind the bar, I went to the bar and he just said, mate, you just stand there and hand out these beers. I'm just going to keep pouring them. You keep handing them out and you'll look like a superstar. So, oh, um, and, no, and no bill came. Oh, that's that was amazing. fantastic. How did that come about? How, what do you, is it, how do you come your way into a bar at the MCG that's named after you? What's so I, I have no idea what the process was, but there was a um, so Peter French at the MCC for a very long time. Um, I had been retired for a couple of years, and I just happened to be in the um, in the players' rooms after a game a few years back. And then he just turned around and said, "Oh, Nita, how are you? By the way, we're naming a bar after you." It's like. <laughs> Okay, sure. Brilliant. That, was, that was my notification. Next minute, I got a uh, an invitation in the mail to go to the launch. Of Brilliant. This, is this it, bar, so. is it a type of thing that 
is there for good? Like, can you ever change the name of the bar? I, I believe it's there for good. You'd okay. be fucked. You're eyeing it off, Max. Is no, I, I mean... <laughs> no, he's coming for you. Look at him. You've already it's got a God. couple of... How many, you already got two bars. Walk out of here. How many bars do you need? <laughs> can you get your own beer in your own bar? I cannot get my own what? beer in my own no, bar. No, no, What's no. the it's point of having a... What? It's, it's, have you, surely you've asked the question. We did. We what have asked the question. They, it was a... Um, so CUB have got the contract, obviously, yeah. and it was okay. a very flat note. Oh, okay. Bloody hell. You know, we thought we could do a collaboration brew to, <laughs> fight, you know, to raise money for the fight M and D, but no, no that, that didn't didn't come my way. Um, yeah. Well, Steins has a room as well, and yes. that, to be fair, that's probably staying. I reckon. That's I a well reckon, earned room. I reckon I'm going to get that name. So oh, <laughs> maybe a new bar, a new bar, the Gus and Gordy bar. bar. We we oh. organise the MCC <laughs> to, to get a new uh, bar. They're, gonna... they're, they're doing a new stand. Yeah, so okay. potentially get away in there. Oh, well, it's all about who you know, isn't it? Or yeah. in the in the get your name podcast oh, room. I mean, so you know, you got to go with the yeah, technology exactly. these days. Yeah, yeah. So, ah, uh, well, we'll watch this space. We'll talk to some people. <laughs> but all right, let's get let's get on to Neil. Um, obviously, it's a big week this week. Uh, this is the ninth for his MND, which is amazing. Um, tenth. Tenth. Is it? Is it uh, Fight MND nine ninth, on the beanie. Ninth. Ninth. Mm. ninth. Tenth year that yeah since Neil's been diagnosed. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it's I mean. I've been there for all nine. I haven't played in all nine, um, but I've been at the football club for all nine. And, so have I. My um, first year was the first. Yeah, the first four or five when Neil was coming in, um, amazing speeches, mm. uh, quotes that I still remember today. We had on our walls for the 2021 grand final, um, all of them around selfless. Yeah. Um, and then the last sort of two or three, it's been run by Beck or Ben or um, someone else. Now, I, I, I haven't had it yet. I think it's tomorrow. But I, I feel like we can even hear some more quotes. I feel like there's some technology where he's yeah. getting some words into an iPad. So we might be able to get some more new quotes. But it's an amazing journey. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, we went and a few of the uh, ex-guys went and watched you blokes play against Gold Coast. We went around to Neil's house and... Um, we weren't sure exactly how it was all going to go, but um, it, it was. It's that technology where um, it's it's the eye gazing technology. It's not the technical term for mm, it. Yep. That's all right, mate. But, they, but you, you know, he's sort of staring at the uh, computer screen. He's able to type the sentence out, and you know, when I come in the room, he goes, "Oh, how's your daughter going?" Or yep. you know, ask questions, be engaged, and be part of the conversation, which is um, just fantastic. So that's incredible, isn't it? It is. It's 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 great that there's that technology available and gives him a voice when otherwise. He may not have been able to have one, so um, so it's phenomenal. But I'm looking forward to it. If I didn't realise he was doing that, but that'll be fantastic if he can. Uh, I know he's coming those in. Words yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is he, he? He wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't have thought. Um, he can Even when Beck and Ben have done his speech for him, he's been sitting there and he's still sort of animating when there's like a bit of humour in there because he's yeah. obviously a funny bastard. But yeah. there's um, just ask him. You yeah. Know. <laughs> He, he potted Nathan Jones for all nine of them. That oh, was really his favourite yeah. thing to do. Easy um, to do. So you obviously had him as your coach, and yep. I would almost say you only coach for the majority of the time. You had to. No, we we, we had uh, we had um, yeah, your bar to start off with, yep. and then and then a uh, good chunk with Neil for ten years, pretty much nine yep. or ten years. Yeah. Um, Neil, the coach. What was he like? Yeah, so he came in. He came in uh, pretty hot. Neil, yeah. with, he's, he's a pretty determined sort of a character, as you can all imagine. Um, but we'd came, we'd come last the year before um, '97, um, and we went to school. He just took us all to school. We, um, we were at Caulfield Grammar doing a training camp down there, or, or training sessions down there. Um, and literally set up a classroom for us and said, "Right, guys, this is how you play footy. This is how I want you to play." But um, what he was able to do, I suppose, is so clearly articulate his vision to everyone. Any questions that were needed answering, we just it was a, it was an amazing. And I guess maybe in this more modern era, you might do that a little bit more. But we hadn't really been exposed to that kind of education and learning yeah. before. Um, and it was amazing. We we turned it around from last to the ladder. We played in the prelim final that year. Wow. Um, you know. Probably almost maybe our best chance to actually win one throughout my my time with that team that we had. Uh, but yeah, he was he was just so determined and so focused on the vision, how he wanted us to play. Um, but yeah, it, it was fantastic teacher. But he was very he came in very hot in year one. <laughs> it was uh, it, you knew exactly where you stood, Max. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. which I mean, a lot of those coaches from that era do tend to lean that way. 
a little yeah. bit of a hard nose approach. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, and seeing the, some of the vision of Neil and um, even got in, I got to meet, I, I d don't know well Neil, I only know MND Neil, yeah. but I got to meet him real early on in the battle. And he, you could still get that sense that he just wanted to, come on, Maxi, this is like 2015 Demons, so we're not a great team. Come on, Maxi. Left, yeah. left. You could just see that he wanted to. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Empathy wasn't in one of his strong suits <laughs> as a coach. So he said he's not sure whether he was built for the modern era of coaching. But um, but the vision doesn't do him justice, Max, because his little trick was in the end he'd try to look uh, nice and calm yep. um, above the coach's box. But what you don't see is underneath the, co the coach's bench, Neil kicking. and So, <laughs> so there was damage to the MCC. The <laughs> TJ Bock coach's box is down. He was kicking and screaming, but trying to kick Keep it calm up here. Yep. Yeah. Um, and now Neil, obviously the person he is now. Um, I know he's nominated for Australian of the Year. I'm not sure if he got it, but I know he's nominated. That's like that sort of person. He's well known around the whole country, not just for footy. Obviously now for the battle that he's going through with Fight MND. Um, Neil, the person now. How do you? How, well, I, well, I guess, I guess it's. Um, it's still the visionary, you know, when he first stepped mm. in at the Demons, he came in with a clear plan of what yep. he wanted to do and how he wanted to achieve it. And um, he was quite visionary with what he wanted to do with vitamin D. You know, he, he came in and knew exactly what, how we, what he wanted to do, how he wanted to do it. Um, you know, brought a whole stack of people together to get behind this cause. So it's, um, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal um, what he's been able to do. But he has become funnier. Yeah, right. yeah generally, because usually, you know, when he's the coach and he tells a joke, and you're in the you're in this sort of weird in the locker room, and it's a little bit tense in yeah. there um, as you're going through your vision and whatnot. And then he cracks a joke there, and you feel as though you're compelled to laugh. You know, <laughs> you, you, if you don't laugh, you'd yeah. not be out next yeah, week. Yeah. So, but you, you, you genuinely get a laugh out of Neil these days. He's um, no, he's he's been fantastic. No, nah, he is. He is. So my old man worked with him at Fremantle back in the day, and reckons that. It's one of the things he said that once I can only imagine what it would have been like to play for him, but away from it, he's a, he's a real funny guy. Yeah. Well, so he's, he's still got that sense of humour, which I'm hoping with this. Um, I don't know how the, they'll land coming out of a um, whatever the system is he's got to talk now, but I, I just ho ho hope that Josie still cops a <laughs> even, even though he's not even there. We might word him up beforehand to make sure that happens, but yeah, yeah he's, he's incredible. I think he could seriously be the best person, just I ever know, full stop, just taking the whole. Some of him, everything he's done, everything he continues to do, yeah. he's um, he's incredible. He's an amazing man. He's an inspiration, that's yeah. for sure. I had a, I had a magical moment one uh, at the McClarty's, Don McClarty at his house in Sorrento. Um, made our way back from Sorrento Pub, which we both have... That was a good effort. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we both frequent every now and then, uh, David. In fact, you do too. You actually walked home a lot further than that yep. one day. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's a good spot. Yeah, we won't talk about that night, but... Uh, I managed to go back to Don's and Neil was there. This was maybe year one or two of uh, fighting them, MND. Um, and it was just a beautiful moment around a fire pit and we got to pick... The, you know that game where you pick your favourite... Uh, pick a song and you got to guess whose song it yeah. was? Yeah. And he, had, he picked Bruno Mars' ha Happy. And there's all these Gen Z people. There's me, there's a few millennials, there's like uh, McClarty kids. You go, well, I'm going to pick all them. Is that their song? No, that was Neil's song that he chose. And he gets up, he's bopping away to Bruno Mars, happy. It was a phenomenal moment. Um, and we talked a lot about football and life there. It's something I'm really blessed that I was able to get. Um, yeah, because now, unfortunately, well, he can speak now, but uh, unfortunately that got taken away. So I'm sure you've had lots of moments like that. Yeah, yeah, no, we've we've uh, we've had some good moments, and he and he does um, he does like get the music trivia out, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he loves does love getting everyone to pick pick a song, pick your music, and what does it mean to you, and all those types of things. So um, um, yeah, he enjoys that kind of stuff. So we had a few nights like that. Coming to the game, I am going to the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Can't good. wait for it. And sorry, you. Sorry, you're not sliding this year, are you? You're, you've I'm not. No, I slid last year, so not this year. No so. one's double slid? No one's I don't think slid. so, no. Okay. Well, you no. made a big fuss about our first double podcast guest, so yeah. maybe um, well, it's not too late. You can put a word in and catch me the first the end double end. slider. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> never know. But um, it's going to be a good game. Are you liking watching what you're seeing from the Ds at the moment? I, I am. Um, I am liking what I'm seeing. I think it um, feels like there's still a little bit of growth in our game still, but um, but I think uh, we've been you know pretty damn handy. We're sitting what third at the moment. Um, it's not a bad position to be. Uh, I think back to last year, we're ten and zip, and everyone thinks that we're going to yeah. you know beat the world. But I think we're actually in a pretty solid 
position at the moment. Some um, good young guys coming in. The young Judd McVie sort of... Knuckle. Uh, he sort of nailed it and, and come in and, and, and played really well. And uh, Brody sort of obviously his synergy with you is working pretty well, I would have thought, at the moment. So there's lots of, lots of good things happening in our game. So, uh, what about Big Van Royen? Big, the big, big room, yeah. Big it was good. And even last week, he, um, I was hoping for him... Because he's just competes so hard, the big fella. Yeah, yeah. And um, but it's, but every every possession that he's had so far, I reckon in AFL has been a hard one. Hard one possession. Yeah. But last week he was able to get on the end of a couple of leads yeah. and get a few touches. I thought I was looking for that within yeah. his game. So it's good to see him midway through the year starting to find the footy. Mm. Uh, and and um, we know he's going to compete. I reckon. Yeah. But it's just good to see him getting on the end of a few easier type. Uh, uh, balls. He kicked a goal from an uncontested mark. Could be his first one this year that he's done that with. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I agree with you. I'm just trying to think. I can't remember him having an easy touch before last week. But, yeah, he just competes. I was just interested in your opinion as a um, big full forward yourself. So it's, um, it sounds like we've got the tick of approval. Yeah. Absolutely. If, um, I don't think Angus and I would do it justice, the, the little plea to get people to put money towards fight MND and buy the beanies. You obviously... Um, are involved in Dunno Drive, which is another fundraising yep. uh, part for uh, Fight MND. You've slid uh, and you've done a lot of work in and around this charity, so I'm sure you could do a little uh, emotional plea to get some money towards Fight MND this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'll, uh, I'll get... <laughs> Having to look down the barrel of the, of the camera, I don't do that very often, Max. Yes, but, yes. Um, but look, it's been an amazing journey that Neil's been on and the Melbourne Footy Club's been on. And I know all the supporters each year do come to the game and they dig deep uh, and really support it. But I guess what has happened when, I, when, when Neil first uh, messaged me about he's got motor neurone disease and I didn't know what it was, um, but I sort of sat there and Googled away about motor neurone disease and found quickly that there was really nothing going on. There was no research project, there was no cure, there was no treatment, there was nothing. Um, and to think about where we're getting to now where, where you know, that feeling of helplessness and hopelessness that I felt at that particular point in time has changed quite a bit. You know, we haven't got the cure at this stage, but there are research projects going on, there are things that you can do, there's a lot uh, more in place in terms of care. Uh, but but there's a hell of a long way to go, yeah. and so I hope that everyone can get behind the cause, and uh, I'm sure the Melbourne people will. Thank you. Well, thanks, Nita, for coming on. Yep. Um, that was great. Yeah, probably best guest we've ever had. I mean, wow. we've had some good guests, like yeah. Nazim, who's one of Angus's good mates, a uh, comedian. Yeah, yeah, uh, he's a good man. I think... <laughs> I think you don't want to <laughs> Let's don't, leave don't, that don't there. Just, just no, leave, no, that, no, leave no, that alone. No, I think in terms of accolades, uh, <laughs> that sleeping dogs lie. We don't need to fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Pleasure, mate. Um, the website is fightmnd.org.au. Uh, you can buy a beanie pretty much from anywhere these days, but Bunnings and Coles are the main two. Or at the game. Uh, we'll come back after this break. Hey footy fans, it's Christian Salen here. The team at Zurich Insurance have been huge supporters of Fight MND's annual Big Freeze campaign since they joined the club as our major partner. They've donated over $100,000 to date and are presenting partner of the club's annual Zurich Walk to the G on King's birthday. Make sure you head along before the game, grab your Big Freeze beanie and support Neil Danaher in his fight against MND. Back to you boys. All right, Gussie, we have a special guest uh, today. Uh, I'm really excited. We teased him uh, in episode one. I think we had a little bit of like, yeah. how are you going? Good oh. luck for the year. It was a big debut. Yeah, yeah, there was. There's been a groundswell of uh, Melbourne faithful get, begging him, get please Jacob get him on. on the podcast. Well, listen to the people. We have Jacob Van Royen on the podcast. Hello, Jacob. Boys, how are you going? Very well. Think, now, we've got him by Zoom. Uh, because I don't know why, but he just didn't want to come in today. Well, but we also didn't do any groundwork and tell him where we were. We did pull this lever late, so we appreciate you very much for coming on. We've, have we interrupted you? What have, what have you been up to today? Um, so, no, just got home. I was down in Rye surfing, so, yeah, literally got home about five minutes ago. I love that. Do you shred? Do you shred pretty hard, or...? I wouldn't say that. Give it my best crack. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts in Rye? Gonna matter. Yeah, gonna matter. Oh, famously, oh, yeah, not too far, I'm not right. expecting you to remember this name, but James Magna went for a surf of Nathan Jones, both former Melbourne players. You should know Nathan, you're wearing his number. Um, but James Magna almost drowned at Gunnamatta. Uh, have you heard that story? <laughs> it's a phenomenal <laughs> story. Hopefully that didn't happen to you. Yeah, did you come near drowning? You're all good? No, not today. I think I th almost did last year. One, one week, Jaden Hunt, he took me out to Bells Beach and that was probably the closest <laughs> I've ever been to drowning. So, 
Yeah. Um, did yeah. you go any of the young, other West Aussies? Is that a – you got a little crew together or are you going by yourself? Um, I went by myself today. Juddy – usually go with Juddy, but he's off playing golf. He already booked in golf, so I just thought, yeah, a bit of a solo mission. Nice. Understood. Um, now, the reason – I mean, as much as we wanted to have a chat – about surfing and golf and uh, Judd McVie for the rest of the show, which is a great topic, uh, all great topics. All great topics. The main reason uh, is uh, Jacob Van Royen is the round 12 NAB rising star. Oh, I didn't even know that either. <laughs> You've been nominated, son. Beautiful. That's great news. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's the purpose of the phone call. I think we're telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh. that, that's, that's basically why you're here, mate. We'll, yeah. We will get you on another day, but um, <laughs> the higher-ups uh, but pulling the strings sort of be a good idea to get um, the announcement done like this. So. I have to put a disclaimer out. Uh, Angus voted for Judd. Um, so I don't know how you must have got all the other votes from the people that actually matter. I'm not sure who votes for Nab Rising Star. Do you know who uh, votes for Nab Rising Star? No, nah, I have no idea. But um, surely a good chance of winning the whole thing. You'd be up there. How many people are playing full forward? Yeah, we've got one other, I reckon. One other West Aussie boy. So, yeah, that'd be about it. Bloody hell. Well, um, how, so expecting it, surprised? Did you see this coming or? Uh, not really. I think I had a pretty, pretty good game, one of my better ones. But I didn't really kick a bunch of goals or take heaps of marks. So, just pretty solid game. But, no. <laughs> Good, I'll take it. But you took an uncontested mark. Have you taken one of them yet? That was your first one. Oh, maybe maybe one or two here and there, but I almost fell over when I took it. So, <laughs> yeah, it look, looked a bit unco. And the crowd celebration? Yeah, was, that, um, was that planned during the, during the set shot routine or was it just a natural sort of reaction? Oh, I did have a couple Carlton fans heckling me in my ear, so I reckon if I, if I kick this, it'll be a pretty... Pretty big goal, and we'll turn around and give him <laughs> give something. Him some. oh, so it was planned. I love that. Can I clear something up? Um, you come to me almost every game this year that you've played and said, the crowd, Max, the crowd keeps saying Roo. I want them to say Roy because my name's Royan. Do I, d d this is your chance. You're on Gus and Gordon. We have, we have a history of making things happen in the <laughs> social sphere. Like, we can, make, we can make things happen for you. Are you happy with Roo? Yeah, no, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. It is pronounced Van Royen, but no, I'm super happy with with the big Roo Roo chant <laughs> that that comes up. Okay, and you didn't think it was a boo the first time you got a touch, did you? No, I did. I think I got it here and there at the very end of last year down at Casey. It's obviously not in the same magnitude as, <laughs> as it is at the MCG. But that's just um, Choco Williams behind the goals yelling yeah. out Roo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, mate. Yeah, you're a cult hero already, and now you're a NAB Rising Star nominee, mate. So, congratulations. Um, go celebrate how you see fit on a Monday evening. Probably not a lot to do, but <laughs> easy. Cheers, you... boys. Hi, Gus and Gordon listeners. It's Christian Petrarch here. The team at Zurich Insurance have been protecting Australians for over 100 years, from individuals and families to businesses large and small. They're your go-to for life insurance, income protection, and business insurance. So check out their website or speak with a financial advisor to see how they can support you. Now let's head back to the boys. Welcome back to Gus and Gordy. Cos we're in the studio, I have no idea if we have heard from our, our team at Zurich uh, and Sporting Globe. And I 100% can tell you the Green Zone probably didn't do a commercial. No. Um, they're not studio not an level. Not actual sponsor, yeah. Not actual sponsor. Turns We've out. wiped them. Um, yeah, but we do is, have is flat. Sporting Globe and Zurich um, are our main two. Um, but we also have some merch. Uh, what I'm wearing right here, so if you're listening, uh, unfortunately, on Spotify or anywhere where you get to your podcast, you won't see it. I'll put it up on social media. I think I'm wearing what's it called? A, is it a, is crew, it a neck. crew neck? Crew neck. Yeah, crew I'll, neck. I'll put a photo of it up um, um, as my, in my responsibility as social media manager. But you're looking sharp. Go to the Melbourne FC website. They're selling pretty quick. Yeah, um, good, um, good cause as well. Um, it'll go to the MND, all the proceeds, which I know we've had a little bit of clunky sort yes. of, uh, mechanics over the years, but trust me, that, that'll all get sorted. As well um, as the beanie, which I'm not sure if the club's... Uh, nah, that's a Coles But job. I know Coles and Bunnings That's are, a Coles so job. There'll be something there. There'll be definitely some of the game. Hurry into Coles, because I went to Coles the other week and uh, there, there was an empty bin. I, so in, they, okay, they're so they're going. They're going, like um, hotcakes. Which is good. Uh, some other news. Uh, Chin, uh, Kate Chandler, our news hound, um, didn't want to come in today. Taking uh, the day off. Taking the day off. He's Let's allowed, have a look. He's allowed three mulligans and he's used two already. So. Yeah, Casey won by a point. Casey That's won good. by a point. James Jordan, if you haven't checked the highlights. Check him. Kicked one of the best uh, midfielder goals going around from stoppage. Couple of handballs here and there. Made his way inside 50. Kicked the goal from on 50. 
Um, Josh Shackey kicked four. That's a good start. Benny, big Brenny, Brownie, brute leg. Brenny. Um, still gets the nickname Brenny based off what you yeah, call him. Yeah. In As I said, so, mate, we make things happen we in the social scene. Happen. So, unfortunately for Brenny, um, there's balls up on my end, but he, he's, he's played well. Uh, what else have um, we got here? Injury news, Clayton Oliver. Good he's just about picked him. Jake Bowie will miss. Yep. Uh, Evo returns after being managed. We've got some good performers in the twos. Um, Tajway Woden's um, sticking his hand up. Jim Jordan, you think, um, has done enough, but... As I said, mate, we haven't had a match committee no, yet. No, we haven't so, had a match committee. Yeah, no. we never know. We, do, we don't have a seating match committee, but we can create a lot of swell. Yeah, we can. Um, yeah, some, Melbourne, uh, some Melbourne people going down the slide. Taylor Harris. There's always someone Melbourne-related going down the slide. I know Russell Howcroft, Jeff Farmer, David Neitz, Angus Brayshaw. Christian Petraka. Christian Petraka. There is some big names. Hamish Blake, he's technically a Melbourne person. Yeah, I think um, technically, absolutely. Been some big people from a Melbourne point of view going down the slide. Taylor Harris. Uh, is this year's one? Is this year's big name Melbourne player that will go down the side. Yeah. Um, excited to see the kit. Uh, that's the best thing. The fashion, what they're going to wear going down the side. Um, did, remember Chris Fagan did his hammy? That was... Yeah, yeah. Ripped it off the bone. <laughs> Full on ripped it. So Taylor... And then at the interview after the game, the mic was in his face and he was spewing. So... Taylor, you have an important uh, football season coming up. Please don't. Please do not rip your hammy rip off the hammy off the bone. Yeah, warm up. Do stretch beforehand, please. Um, lastly, uh, I'm just going to leave it on this note, I guess. Yeah. Um, I've got a great relationship with my ruckman slash uh, ruck coach slash forward coach, uh, probably forward coach slash ruck coach. I dare say. Um, 50 fifty. It works it, both ways. Greg Stafford. And every time I walk into a meeting, he says, "G'day, champ. How are you going?" And you would say that you two are friendly. I would. I almost punch him in the face right oh, there and then. Yeah. Like I, I think, all right, let's start a fight. Fair um, enough. They're fighting words. Which leads me thinking, and we have great, we've had done some great top tens in our time. Uh, yeah. Shapes, obviously not ten, but that was a top six. Yeah. Um, and we're rankers. We, 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 we're we, good at that. We know clickbait starts with lists. The top yeah. seven best midfielders on a 3.20 time slot of a yellow ball yeah. when it's, ra- when it's raining. People see the headline yes. and then the rest follows. So we're going to do a top ten uh, based off Greg Stafford championing me every time I see him. Yeah. Uh, based off like the worst things you could get called. Yeah. That are PG. Obviously, there's some some worst things you'd probably want to be called, but I'm talking PG. Uh, do you want me to start? I've got. I just want to preface this that there's one that's probably M, but not MA15 plus. Okay. Well, we're going to go sli- slide through to the keeper, but okay. yeah, I've got. To, we've we've put a list together. Surprise, surprise. Uh, my t- starting with Let's ten. Let's go ten in. Yeah. Oh. For me, me first, or you? Yeah, well, should we go... 10, 10, 9, 9, yeah, 8, yeah, 8, let's 8 do 7, that. 7. No, nah, probably easier if we just do our Actually, two no, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, you go first. Uh, yeah. 10's Tiger. Tiger's bad. 9 is Slick. I think that speaks for itself. Yep. 8, Bruiser, which Stephen May gets called. Stephen Apology, May gets I feel that. really bad for you. Um, 7 is Squirt. I mean, that makes sense. You okay, know I've, got, I've got Squirt on my list. 6 is Champ. So Champ, I've been getting Champ, and it's not even in my top 5. So there is worse things Greg can be calling me. Wow. 5 is Buddy. Which is the best full forward of our generation gets called that, so I don't know why he enjoys it. Four is slugger. That just sounds horrible, slugger. You get slugger, something's going horribly. Three is muscles, and that makes sense. You don't want to get called muscles. Uh, Two and one, I could not split. And these are daylight before three to ten. Superstar is two, and one is sport. Sport's bad. Superstar's bad as well. (laughs) Superstar is is on my list, unsurprisingly. I'll, I'll go through mine very quickly. So I'd, I had Turbo at 10. Yeah, that makes sense. Turbo. Yeah, into uh, Tugger or slash Tugboat at 9. I've gone a little bit different. Have you been called Tugboat before? Tugboat. Have you been called Tugboat before? Uh, no, I've called someone Tugboat. Oh, have you? <laughs> to intentionally hurt them and it hurts. Boss, I went for Boss at 8. Yeah, Boss makes sense. Boss or Boss Man. Boss Man. Hot Shot, 7. Yep. Champ at 6. Champ. So I've had Champ in at there. 6. Tough Guy, 5. Well, Tough Guy's got, yeah, that's got bad connotations to it, don't it? Yeah. Tough Guy's bad. I've gone, squ- sorry, where, tough guy five. Squirt. Did I yeah, say squirt? I'd squirt. Squirt. Big Nuts is four. Big Nuts is the one that's a little bit on the edge. That's him. That's probably him. Yeah. Big Nuts is Big Nuts is. You four. might just have an asterisk next to one of them. I've gone Chief slash Chieftain at three, yeah. taking the podium spot. I've gone Muscles at two. Muscles. And I've gone Superstar one. I think so I... both think Superstar's bad. Superstar's horror. Yeah, so don't call it Superstar. Please don't. I'd also be interested, um, and uh, as the social media manager I'm now, I know putting more things on a plate that is already full and rarely gets cleaned. Well, you will put those top tens up. I will. I'll put them up. I'll um, ask for some. We want some I've also got something for you. My uh, Moroccan friend um, got a hold of me. He, he's messaged in. No. What's he doing with himself? What's he's his name? Somewhere? Kevin. 
Kevin from Morocco. Our one Moroccan fan got, got back to us. The expat. So, um, I, you, I mean, uh, you know, I don't want to say that's, uh, you know, me doing my job, but I did get some feedback and uh, we've got, he lives in Casablanca oh. and he's a regular listener. It's Casablanca in Morocco, there you go. Yeah, yeah, what's he doing? He, um, he's just he's just doing Moroccan stuff. Listen to the Jeff Farmer podcast. Well, that's great. Well, there great you go. So thanks, reason. Moroccan. I'm still waiting for our Polish, well, who's your, I want the guy from Poland. Yeah, ch check in. I was interested in anyone that speaks a different language in okay. terms of that country. Um, so I think there was some Dutch, yeah, right. um, some German. Love to hear from them. So yeah, we've got we've got some stuff going there in the um, social front. But uh, yeah, the, the list hurt. If you if you're getting slugger or tugboat, then yeah. Feel free to um, yeah when that post goes up, tell us what your worst is. Call us superstar on that post, but that's where it uh, leaves. Yeah, prepare for fight. Like there'll be fists if you call Gorney. Correct. Because he, he's, he's at his wit's end. But well, I don't fight on six. Champ's my number six, and I don't fight on yeah, that. Top five. Stickler of, stick of top five. Stickler of top five. That's it. Well done. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow because we work together. Well, well. <laughs> um, I'll see everyone else uh, via a vodcast, not in a studio next time, um, in a fortnight. It's going to be tough to come back after once you've had that level of class. Maybe we stay in the studio. I don't think it's going to work like that. But thank you very much, mate. Thank good, you. good session. Well done. And, um, see you next week.